Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali and in this video we will add uh, some you can say the firebase validation that will check the user. As you know that first of all let me tell you that we are on the main activity. So we can't allow a user to go directly to the main activity and start using this app. First he has to log in using his phone number or you can say uh, we will add the phone notification in the upcoming video tutorials and also uh, he has to either he has to log in using his email account. So for that, uh, let's go to the Android Studio, and this is our main activity. So now here at the top, we can say private Firebase user, and let's call this as current user, and then come down here. And after this on create method, we are going to create another method, and that will be our on start. You can see this first one click on that and this is our own start method so whenever the app starts it should first check if current user become equals to null then it means that the user is not authenticated so we will uh, send the user to the login activity to log in first his email address or the phone number so for that we will create an intent so using uh, inside a method so let's uh, create a method by the name send user to login activity click here and here you can see this red bull click on that and create method by this name we send user to login activity and now inside this method we will write an uh, intent code to send the user to the login activity so we can call this as login intent equals to new intent we are on the main activity so we can say main activity dot this comma and now we need to create login activity so click here click new activity empty activity and let's call this as login activity click finish so you can see that our uh, login activity is created successfully now go back to the main activity and after this main activity dot this we can simply write login activity dot class and make sure to put a semicolon here and then after that we can say start activity for the login intent so if the current user is null then it will send the user to the login activity and the user has to log in. So yeah let's run the app to see if it is working or not. So our app is running now successfully and you can see that it sent us to the login activity okay which is basically an empty activity right now okay you can see that this is our login activity which we created just now. So it sends us to the login activity instead of uh, staying us on the main activity. So yeah. Now what if uh, if the user is already logged in to his account let's say then we will uh, not send the user or you can say we will not allow the user to stay on the login activity. He has to use the app directly if he is already logged in. So just like we add the validation for the user on the main activity, now we are going to add it on the login activity. So copy the start method and this will uh, and go to the login activity. So this will basically check if the user is already logged in. Then, then we will send the user to the main activity. So yeah, let's copy this private Firebase user from here also and pass that here at the top and now here we can say if current user is not null which means if the user is logged in then we will send the user to the main activity okay you can create this method right now and this will be our main send user to main activity now go to the main activity and copy this intent from here so that we can change it for the main activity so we are on the login activity so we can say login activity 
and we are going to send the user to the main activity so if the user is already logged in then we will send the user to the main activity instead of uh, staying the user on the login activity and to log in again and again i mean you can see it on, on whatsapp that is once you log into that app you can use it until you log out from that app or you remove that app okay now the next thing is we will create some uh, drawable resource file for the inputs and for the buttons I mean for the designing so click on uh, the drawable folder click new and here you can, you can see the drawable resource file click on that and this will be for the buttons so we can save buttons click OK so this is the drawable resource file click text and here you can see this is the selector so change this to shape and inside this we can say solid close this col or android color and it should be color primary okay this one now this is for the buttons now let's create another one new drawable resource file and it should be for the inputs I mean for the edit text so you can call this as inputs click OK go to the text and change this to shape and now inside this we can say oh sorry for that you can simply write stroke close this the color for this will be color primary you can see here okay this is the border line basically when we uh, create the stroke and then the width for this will be 5 dp so yeah this is for the inputs so we will be using this buttons and inputs when we will be designing the register activity and the login activity in the next video tutorial so let's create uh, first let's close this main activity now let's create the uh, new activity empty activity and this will be our register activity click finish so our register activity is also created successfully so yeah for now let's close this register activity so yeah that's it for this video and as i told you we will work on the login activity and register activity in the next video tutorial so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now